Hey, I'm Joe Lines, and this is the first video we're going to demonstrate opening a web browser using AutoHotKey to drive Selenium, um, the web driver. And, and this is a point of confusion I ran into, and I finally, um, I shouldn't say I figured it out, but uh, I, I've, I have two approaches that work. Um, I'm not sure if one is better than the other, why use one over the other. It, as far as I know, they're um, indifferent in their uh, capabilities. However, one possibly if you're switching, um, constantly switching the browser you want to use is a little bit easier to do that. So here, um, I'm just, I have a single force, this is going to reload my script, and this hotkey of course is going to run what happens here, and here I have a message box just saying we're done. Um, so let me reload my script, I'm going to run it, and what it's going to do is it's going to, in this case, it's going to create a pointer to this driver, um, I shouldn't say this driver, it's a, a, an object I'm going to store, um, a reference to this Selenium web driver. And notice web driver, and actually that shouldn't say Chrome driver, that should say web driver, right? Because in this case, we're just connecting to the Selenium web driver, and I am missing for some reason. Oh, no, there it is. All right. So notice here, I say start IE, right? I can say start IE, I can say start Chrome, I can say start Firefox, Phantom JS, which is a headless browser, which basically, from my understanding, means there's just no GUI interface to it, um, which um, is faster. Generally, that's why people, I think, want, like to use it. But it, um, for me, the troubleshooting part of it, it, it adds a lot of complexity um, and edge. Um, and then, you know, other browser drivers you've installed. So let me, I'm going to save this, reload it. Now, when I run this, it's going to um, first get a pointer to there, start the Chrome version of Selenium, basically, navigate to the, actually, I should, and this is the interesting part, is it doesn't, I don't know what this does, it doesn't, it doesn't navigate to it until you put the get, and so without the get, this will break. Um, this took me a while to figure out because it made no sense. Um, however, when you tie these two together, um, obviously with the first one, it will launch. I just hit my hotkey, so it launched Chrome, it navigated here, and here's my message box basically saying we're done, right? If I change this simply to IE, it will do the same thing with IE. If I do this with, um, the, uh, this is too easy for me to mistype that, it, you're not going to see a window because there is no GUI, right? However, the message box here will show up. It showed up. Um, if we were actually getting from the page or setting, you'd be able to, well, you'd be able to get data and you would see that. However, I've tested enough to know that, that is actually working. My, my Firefox, it launches it, however, it doesn't navigate and it says there's an error on the port and I'm just not sure if I need to tweak something. So see, this is Firefox, it launched and then it hangs here for a little bit and then waits for um, the, the local port. Um, it's trying to listen to the port and connect to, I think, this instance of Firefox and says, it, it you know, maybe I'm looking at the wrong port. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that. All right, so that's this is option one of how you can do things. The second one is if, if like me, I'm, I'm doing web scraping. I'm not switching between browsers, right? I'm going to pick a browser and use that browser. Um, I can put in, instead of, instead of WebDriver, I'll put in the name of the browser I want to use here. And so now, interesting enough, you don't use the start and, you, and the get actually is going to be the URL. Uh, so I'm going to save, reload, and launch. And here you'll see Chrome automatically go to that page. Here's my message box. Um, the other interesting thing with Selenium versus doing stuff with Com is when I reload or exit the script, it kills the browser. Um, so that browser is actually created by this script and stored there, and the second I kill it, it kills the browser. And the other thing that I have yet to solve, I don't think it's going to be solvable, is uh, I can't just connect to a current existence of Chrome. I need to launch it from within here, and then I can interact with it, but I can't go grab a current existence of Chrome um, and just connect to it like I can with IE and COM. And I think it's because, of course, um, I'm using the Selenium tool here to do that, and um, that just isn't going to be possible with the way I'm doing things here. Um, of course, you could just launch everything with the Selenium Chrome version, be using the browser, and then connect to it, right? That's that's probably the easiest solution for that. 
let's uh, let's demonstrate. Let's get rid of the Chrome. Switch to IE. So here, all I'm changing is this this IE driver versus Chrome. See here, another interesting thing I've noticed is um, the IE cookies will stick. If I had actually put it in here to LinkedIn, it would go to my LinkedIn. Um, let's you know what? Let's see if we can do this here. Hopefully that's the URL. Um, it should start off here. Where see how I'm logged in, right? It it brought me in here. I'm logged in. Um, I'm logged in somebody else. Perfect. Uh, but um, in Chrome, watch this when I do it in Chrome. So it is going to say, it it. Holy mo smokes! No, I didn't. Um, I must not have sa saved it. There we go. Sorry. So in Chrome, I was I was getting excited there for a second. See, it didn't keep my cookies. Um, unfortunately, somebody, the cookie monster, came and ate my cookies, apparently. And the thing is, it's not tied, I think, to my Chrome profile. And I saw some settings where you can tweak to say um, Chrome to connect to your profile. and I th Or you can, you can go set your cookies and just go grab them what you want and set them. And so I need to work through that. Um, of course, or you just automate logging in every time, and then you move forward. Right, but uh, that's all I wanted to get going in this video. Is just basically demonstrating how to launch uh, the Selenium browsers, uh, web drivers from AutoHotkey. Thanks.